What is going on Bolt Nation and welcome to another Friday the 13th video. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Grease Monkey perk if it works or if it doesn't work. Now, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me Laser can you please do this perk and do that perk but let's try to get this video to 500 likes and the perk that gets mentioned the most in the comment section is the next perk I will go ahead and do on the Mythbusters if the perk works or if it doesn't. Now I also want to give you guys a massive thank you for all the comments and support you guys shown on my what perks don't work video you guys are amazing thank you very much for all your comments and all your likes you guys are super duper awesome if you guys could do me the huge favor of please sharing this video with your friends over on twitter and instagram i would greatly appreciate it if you haven't had a chance to watch the you know what perks don't work video i would highly recommend you guys click on that card on the top and to make sure you guys head over to that video check it out and let me know what you guys think now let's go ahead and talk about the grease monkey perk does it work or does it not work now let's talk about what it's supposed to do now what the grease monkey perk does it allows your cart starting and restart in time to be decreased so that means that the time it takes you to actually start the car or restart the car it will be decreased as if you didn't have the grease monkey perk now the question is does this perk work or does it not work so we went ahead and did a test run with the same character and big shout out to my boy Sasuke for actually giving me the ability to hop on his account and testing out the grease monkey perk if you guys already saw my latest video on the what perks don't work you remember i did have a grease monkey perk but i accidentally deleted it trying to get another perk so rip rip the dream on that one but thank you for sasuke for actually letting me hop on his account and testing out the grease monkey perk so let's talk a little bit about what we did so we went ahead got the battery got the uh keys and we went ahead and put in the gas to the car hopped in the car and started the car now i'm going to show you guys the start time of each individual sequence and then we'll go into a split screen to see what is the difference if there is any difference or if there's not any difference whatsoever so this is just the regular start time of the car being started with the grease monkey perk now don't think that there's a difference like if it's a four door or a two door the same start time for both cars is the same so here it is guys those are the results of me starting up the car oh, with the it grease started. monkey perk active as you notice right there i'll go ahead and show you my character it does has the grease monkey perk activated it is an uncommon with a 20 percent now do keep in mind for every 10 percent of the perk system you get an additional two points so it's a, it increases at a two percent from the start time so it's still really really good perk with that 20 percent if you had like an epic or a rare where it was just like a 38 to 40 which is what i had it would then give you that four percent of being able to start the car a lot quicker all right so now we went ahead started off with the same character this time around we picked up the battery picked up the gas same thing same sequence to actually start any car oh whether it be God, a four door or a two door we hopped on the car and we went ahead and gave it a quick start now do keep in mind like i said prior to this it doesn't matter if the car's a four seater or a two seater it's still going to give you the same okay. amount of percentile here you guys can see the screen of my character without the grease monkey perk starting now i want you to keep in mind that when we used the grease monkey perk we were on a yellow car and when we didn't use the grease monkey perk we were in a blue car so now let's go ahead and head over to the split screen to find out the biggest difference so here we are within the split screen now before we get started and show you guys the complete split screen i do want to let you guys know one thing you're going to notice that maybe the sequence is off but the one thing i want you to notice and i'm going to actually go ahead and focus really into is the time the a starts to actually fill in don't think about one time do you hop in to the car when you get seated in the car what you need to notice within the split screen is from the time that the a starts filling in to the time it stops filling in that's what i want you guys to play close attention so let's go ahead and roll this and check this out so as you guys notice right there both of them start out pretty good you know you notice the wheel almost filling out the same but for some reason when you don't have the grease monkey perk it seems to start the car a lot faster so this has me wondering what the heck is going on is the grease monkey perk working or is it actually hindering me from actually starting the car sooner which totally doesn't make sense because the whole concept of the grease monkey perk is to start the car faster as opposed to starting the car slower when you have it inactive so as we can see here with the video proof is that unfortunately the grease monkey perk is broken and it needs to get patched and fixed if you guys would like to see the next perk make sure you guys drop it in the comment section down below the perk that gets the most uh, suggestions is the one i'll go ahead and do also let's try to get this video to 500 likes so once it hits 500 likes i could put that video out for you guys if you guys would like this series to continue 
please let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Now if you did, please remember to help me out by liking the video and most importantly sharing the video with your friends. If you want to stay up to date with all things Friday the 13th, make sure you hit that sub button and if you want to get in touch with me and stay informed on the latest things that are happening in the channel, the best way is to hit me up on Twitter at GFLazerBolt. The link is down below and also follow me on Twitch. If you would like to support the channel, you can always join the Laser Nation by supporting us via Patreon. Once again, the link is also down below. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.